Jamaica 55 is brought to you by National Cream Crackers. No better country, no better cracker. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jamaican storytelling is an art form. Um, from the heart that has managed to tell its way through generations. Um, and this morning we have with us actress, uh, storyteller, uh, Dr. Jean Small. No, um, uh, well, and Mbale, okay, yeah, and Mbale is also here with the music in the background. I would say no, no stranger to Smile Jamaica. You've been here quite often. Great to see you, ma'am. Great to see you, ma'am. Um, Thank you. We were talking just before we came on about storytelling overall. It's not just a Jamaican thing we're talking about. No. You find it all over the Caribbean. The same kind of and stories? Sort of, yes. But of course, so stories are not only Anansi stories. And, and this is what I would like to correct. When you say storytelling, people immediately think of Anansi story. But there are many types of stories. They but Anansi is a central theme. He's a main character, yeah. that, yes. He's a trickster character. And uh, many cultures have a trickster character. But why a trickster, and this is what is never explained, why Anansi is so important to us, is because of the whole experience of slavery and colonization, and because our stories that we have come out from the forest, where the fa all the animals are, you must remember that the king of the forest is? The lion. The lion. Look at the lion with his golden mane. Yes. Yeah? He represents the European. He represents the colonizer, and he was not the original king of the forest. Tiger was the king, and he came and he took over from Tiger. That's the whole story of colonization. And so Anansi really represents us, me and you, the underdog. The, and wow. that is why he has to trick his way around the king, the, the strong lion. Yeah. He has to find ways and means of getting around to survive. So Anansi is really a character of survival. Yeah. But we are really yeah. an oral people. We, 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 we thrive on the stories. The stories live until today because of people like you who keep yes, telling and them. and we are trying to revive it because, it, you know, we're losing it. Yeah. The children are watching television and, you know, all the stuff we get from the United States. And they're forgetting the folklore. Yes, so we have to try to bring it back. Anansi, why, yeah. why is it still relevant? Because storytelling, because there are lots of messages in the stories that we can teach through, and that's what our ancestors did. They taught through stories. And it's very, every story has a moral, a lesson, and we need to concentrate on that aspect and not so much on the Anansi, mm -hmm. the trickster. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you know, we talk about Anansiism in today's world, in Jamaica. We are very good as Jamaicans, to find ways and means of making money. Yeah, we're good at that. Around, you know, we good very at good that. at that. That's why we call it Anansi, because that's what Anansi is. Anansi was a trickster character. So right. we talk about Anansi. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the rolling calf. The rolling calf is one of the characters. They say that they have a lot of these um, characters that are used to discipline children. If you don't behave yourself, black hat man will come for you. The bogeyman will do this, rolling calf, you know. And, and people are scared at night, especially moonlight night, because they used to tell, in the rural areas, it was where they don't have, always have electricity. Correct. It's moonlight night, they used to tell stories, you know. So rolling calf, can you imagine a rolling calf and his uh, horns shining in the moonlight? What, what? Why so many of the stories almost end up scaring you? Why? What, what's the reason behind that? Well, it's, 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 it's a way of disciplining people, mm -hmm. getting you scared. You behave yourself. If not, this will happen to you and that will happen to you. They have all of these characters. And it's a rolling calf is the reincarnation of a dead butcher, is so? I don't know that story. Oh, yes, yes. That's, what yeah. that's what I've read. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah. how that goes. Yeah. Okay. And you hear the chain. He's yes. Dang, yes, know. I've heard that story. So it's very frightening um, character. Papa Jean, you ever see any of these and things? You, a, you ever a see a rolling calf? Me? Have you ever seen a rolling calf? No, sir. So okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've seen people swear. And you're and supposed to light a match and throw it three, three matches. And then what happens? And he will disappear. Oh, this yeah. is how you counter, you know. Oh. 
Oh. It's like the old hags. Okay, so tell us about old, old hags. Now you went right it's into old hags. Yes. You see, old hags sucks the blood of especially small babies, newborn babies, and so, you know, yeah. That, so. Uh, and, and 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 what what in, what are we supposed to get country, from that? In my country, in Guyana, we put rice at the front of our door. Rice, because the old high grudge comes because they take each grain of rice and take a whole night to eat <laughs> each grain of rice. Oh so we sprinkle God. rice in front of the door to prevent the old hag from coming. So what's the moral of the old hag story? <laughs> what, what's, what's that one about? The old hag is a character again, like a, a, a woman, I suppose, that comes in this form of a, a ball of fire and they, they go after small children. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and she sheds baby. her skin at night, yes, is that yeah, true? Yes, okay. that's right, yes. Uh, that's so right. they have all of these. And they have it in other, in French islands, they call it Sukuyon. It's the same kind of character that sucks your blood. Wow. Yeah. Okay, oh. River Mama. I'm afraid. Very popular here. Okay. Yeah. 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 sleep tonight. I guess River Mama comes from the presence of rivers and mermaids. That's, that's really, mm -hmm. so we have river mover too, all over, you know, we have rivers. And they, they capture men, men, they sort of bewitch yes. the men and capture them and draw them into, they can't get away. <laughs> I am scared. <laughs> Annie Palmer. You have to, Annie Palmer, oh, that's um, Rose Hall, yeah. mm -hmm. right with. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting story. She was a terrible woman. There, there's this, this man, his name was what, Henry Fanning, I think he was building this big house there, where the, you know. The great house is. Where the great house is. And he died before the house was finished. And his wife, Rosa, was his wife. Um, she got married to a planter. She was a white-skinned woman, apparently. And she apparently came from Haiti and was um, trained in voodooism. She knew all the tricks and trades of voodoo. But she got married to this planter, and then he died. And there was something about this house that people were always dying. Uh, then she got married to his nephew, the nephew of this man, Palmer, uh, who was another Palmer. And this was, she got married four times, and all of them died. Died. Yes. Penny, yes. you wicked witch. Yes. Was, all of them and, died or she killed all of them? Well, um, <laughs> the last one, apparently she poisoned. <laughs> and, um, a, a, and she also had an, um, uh, a big appetite for sex. And so she used to have sex with her slaves on the plantation. And one of the slaves apparently knew about the fact that she had killed the last husband. And in order to get rid of him, she really tortured him. Poor kid. Yeah. And it's a <laughs> wicked woman. Yeah, she had, had this dungeon. There was this dungeon at the bottom of the house where she used to oh, wow. have them beaten thoroughly. She was a terrible Have you ever taken a tour? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Can, we go, can we go down there one day and, and shoot yeah. it for smile? Have to go and yeah, man. Done, try I'm to say, go down there. They actually say Annie still visits sometimes, so we can go down there one day. Right, which of Rose Hall. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Dr. Small. Great oh, to see you, as always. Great to see you, as always. Try to keep storytelling. Yes, alive. absolutely. Actress and storyteller, uh, <laughs> Dr. Jean Small, and drummer Mbala. Okay, after the break, folks. In discipline in schools. Big topic. We're going to tackle it when we come back. Okay, well, we're going to have some dancers first. We're not going to go for a break yet. City dancers, winners of the uh, dancing dynamite competition in uh, this year's competition. And they're uh, here with an African themed dance piece. So let's take a look at that. <laughs>
Dum ding 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 